this stuff. Let's see. Let's see. Good morning. Oh, I gotta turn on my iron. I hope I don't um, short out my house. <laughs> I'm just shut my lamp off in case. There. Now maybe it's too dark. I don't know. We'll see. Let me get on here. I'm going to stand up and show them in the camera anyways, so it'll be fine. Okay. Okay. Hello. It says waiting. I don't know. I don't know why it says waiting, but anyways, good morning. I just want to see if it, oh yeah, like my new jammies. <laughs> I'm into the flannels now that I'm in Minnesota. I'm so happy. I'm excited. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> I got new jammies, long sleeve ones. So, and I got coffee, and yesterday, <laughs> yesterday, I was laying down, because my mom and I both have a really weird sleeping schedule, and yesterday, I was laying down, and all of a sudden, I had this one thought in my mind, cardboard, all of a sudden, <laughs> all of a sudden, my eyes pop open, and I'm like, oh, God, I got in a tangent, so... I'm making these and I'm digging out all the wax. So I got a couple different kinds of cardboards, you know, the skinny kind and the regular kind. And then I got some, then I had some white kinds, you know, and I'm just ripping it up, inking it up, you know, and then I'll show you. Let me see where we're at here. Ripping it up and inking it up. So that's not really fun to watch, y'all, you know. So I, not that this is any funner either. <laughs> but I'll show you what I got. So look, I just ripped it and then I just inked it up and then I sat with my scraps and I just sewed. So there's a piece of paper, a piece of Material, lace, and then some trim. This one I just did ephemera pieces. She's cloth trim, you know. Same thing with this one. My tatting, lace, material, book page, cardboard thingy. You know what I mean? So I just did a whole bunch. A whole bunch of different kinds. I just sat and just zipped. I ripped the cardboard, inked it up, and then I just sat at my sewing machine and just zipped on a bunch of stuff. A couple of these, I put an embellishment on the top, but mostly I just zipped so far. All different kinds, you know, this kind. And that's not really, like, video worthy. Not that this is either, but I'm just going to show you up close, like, a couple of them so you can get, like, an idea. And they're just all different shapes and sizes and just scraps, you know. No big deal. But I did a whole bunch. <laughs> and <coughs> this is like my favorite thing to do. I don't know why, but I just like these because I like to stick them on the edges of pages. And like, I don't know, I just love these. And since I moved, I don't have any. So let me close in a little bit. I don't have any since I moved, so I'm really excited. <laughs> Because now I get to make some. And digging out the wax is my favorite part, right? <clears throat> so just go sew on a bunch of cardboards and then come back. <laughs> okay, so I got out my regular beeswax pellets that I got at Hobby Lobby. You get that 40% off coupon, you know, every month or every week or whatever. I don't know, but that's what I used it because it's kind of expensive. Then I've just got a block of beeswax, and I think it's really fun. I just shave it off and use it. It does a whole different thing, you know. And then I have this. 
I love it. Big pellets and it's yellow beeswax and it's really sticky and stuff, you know, and it looks different. And then I got, um, these are just regular too, only they're a different color. They're a lighter shade. So I don't know. You can't really see it as much, you know? So I got those. And then I have this encaustic wax, it's called. And it really does something crazy, I'm telling you. This encaustic medium, and then you melt it together with the wax and the molds, and then you have these. One of my um, groupies made these for me. I'm almost out. So I'm going to have to try it myself. I don't know. But anyways, I love this stuff. So it's fun to play with all the waxes. I'm obsessed, right? And the, her, she had a bunny mold. It was cute. Anyways. Okay, so. So, this is all I do. So, now that I got all these done, I have like 35 or something. I don't even know. Some of them I don't want to put, you know, put it on. So, we'll see. And look, some of them I didn't even sew on very good. Look, it's coming right off. But, it's totally cool because... I'm trying not to make too much shadow here. It's totally cool, though, because just, you know, put some glue on it and it's fine. You can glue it, too. You don't have to sew. I just like to because I like the sewing, you know. So it's white cardboard. I inked it up and I just put a piece of sheet music on there. Inked that up. It's a lot of inking in this grunge, you know. And then I just put lace and trim and sewed it on. That's it. So this one, for instance, I could say, let's, let's dig something out, you know, like what I could put a flower or I could do a little envelope or we could do something, you know, but since I don't know what I'm putting them on yet, I'm kind of doing them just kind of plain just so that I have them made up ahead. You guys know how I like an assembly line. So that's what I'm doing. But this one, you know, you have a cute little flower. We could put a word, you know, eventually or something. But the flowers look good with wax on them too. So I just want to show you what it looks like. So I like to ink these up a little bit. These are relatively cheap. I think I got them at Scrapbook. Oh, shoot. Scrapbook something online. They were like, I don't know, but it was cheaper than Hobby Lobby. I've been looking for these and looking for these and looking for these little birdie flowers. I only got pink and white, but maybe someday I'll go back and get some more colors. I lost all my flowers in the move. All my most important things I lost. <laughs> A box of my most important, most beloved things. I'm so bummed, you know. Sometimes in a move that happens and it still hasn't turned up and it's been all summer, so... So, it must just be lost and gone forever. And it was my whole collection of all these flowers, you know. So, I'm bummed. And then my vintage wallpaper. Oh, I'm so bummed about that, too. All right. So, anyway. So, that's cute. So, that's good enough for me, the way it is like this. And then you just... And then I have mine in a candy dish. Because I like to use it all the time. And then you just sprinkle it on and iron it, you know. I'm just using a regular iron. But you can get an iron that doesn't have any holes, any steam holes, in the travel section at Target. They have a mini iron with no holes in it. That works really good for this stuff. I actually should have some parchment or something, but I don't think I have it sitting right here. Because I would rather melt it on something I can use than melt it on this cardboard that I'm not going to use, but oh well. But it looks really good. See how it melted on there and made another layer of um... Good morning! Another layer of distressing, and that's my favorite Oh, I'm not doing anything new. I always do these, but but I don't have any in my stash right now. So I made up a whole bunch of just cardboard, paper, trim, lace. And then I stuck a flower on top. 
and I just zipped it through my sewing machine, you know. And some of these I'm not going to put wax on, and some of them I am. But I decided, since it's my favorite thing to do, <laughs> I would come just to gab, really, because I did all the work already because it's mostly inking, you know, when you do the grunge. So I'm just ripping up all my different cardboard pieces, all my different kinds. I got a couple different kinds, and I just ink the edge and, you know, any kind. And then I just do my scraps on the sewing machine, zip, zip. And now I dug out all the waxes because the waxing is my favorite. So, and these turn out cute. I like them. I did, you know, 50 or something. <laughs> or, you know, something crazy like that. This one I have green, sheet music, lace, you know. And then you can see the, the sewing. So it's nothing new, but it's still fun. And then I can just sit down and gab. Sometimes it's kind of fun, too. There. These are so cute, and I love this cardboard that's skinny. This this kind, it's got really skinny, like, you know, ridges. It looks different. It's cool. I don't know. I just like cardboard. And then I had to model my new pajamas. <laughs> model my new pajamas for winter here in Minnesota because it's starting to get cold, and I haven't had winter pajamas in so long. So I got a new long sleeve flannel pair and I'm sporting them today. <laughs> My new jammies. I'm all excited about them. <laughs> yeah, these are cute. I mean, you know, once you put them on a page, you know, it'll look, it'll look good. You know, on the edge of something like right here. You know, just for a tab or on, on an envelope or, you know, just anything. It'll be cute. I promise. See, I have some bingo cards here. We could put this. Well, you don't want to cover up the bingo, but you know, some way and you can make it a tuck spot or, you know, whatever. This one's cute. I like it when I use green. So I have some of these, I have green graph paper inside. Then I use that lime green lace. Oh my gosh. Kind of crazy colors, but green and pink is my favorite. And then when you put... The wax on it kind of tones it down a little bit but I didn't put any like big focal points on these because I don't know really where I'm putting them I just know my next couple of journals coming up like the themes of them so I'm just like making up stuff that'll go with any page that I do <laughs> you know what I mean so I've got a couple journals coming up I'm excited that I'm doing all these videos for this one I love it's got that turquoise wedding dress satin and some tatting there's a book page under there it was a big piece sometimes the big ones are fun too but I didn't put like a face on here or vintage ladies or anything I just left it all cardboard and material and lace and then I can put bows on and stuff later you know once I know what page it's gonna go on and things so I'm kind of, hi miss, I'm kind of leaving these, kind of plain I guess, if that's what you want to call it, but there's not really like a focal point really, but they're all just mashed up, oh, but I like them like this, this one I like too, it's got pink on it, it's cute, <laughs> What are you guys doing today? What is today? Saturday, right? Saturday morning. Well, I got my tree up and I think it's really nice and I love it and everything. You know, it's my first like Christmas I'm going to have with my family. I haven't had one in 10 years, so it's going to be fun. So I got all the presents wrapped and everything. I'm all excited, you know. My birthday's in a few days, so I ordered me a uh, um, Junior's Cheesecake, because <laughs> that's my favorite. It's 
So I'm going to have that. I don't think anyone's coming over or we're not doing anything. I think we're going to wait until we're going to push it back a week. Because my granddaughter has a week off from school. She gets out, you know, and then she's going to come here and spend her Christmas vacation here. So we're going to celebrate her birthday and my birthday. Because hers is the day before mine. Today's my brother's. Tomorrow is nobody's. Then the next day is mine. And then the next day is my granddaughter's. So it's crazy. So we just do birthdays constantly in December. <laughs> So it gets, you know, so we're going to wait a week. So I ordered a cheesecake, so I'm going to be by myself. <laughs> you're cleaning the house today? Oh, I don't know which journal you're working on, miss. You should post it in group so I can see. I got to see which, which one you're working on. I don't think I've seen you post in group yet, have I? Have you posted your journal that you're working on? Or maybe I missed it. Maybe I missed. Oh, these are cute. I like this one. Put one of those huge flowers on the end, but it's fun. I don't usually use those, but I'm getting a stash of them now, so I got to use. You better post it so I can see then. Come on, girl. I want to see. I'm posting all my crap constantly. You better post yours now. <laughs> Come on, I post my stuff all the time. You better. Then I'll see what you guys are doing too because it's more fun for me then, you know. I'm sick of seeing all my crap. <laughs> no, actually I'm not. I love this stuff so much. I can't stop making it. <laughs> I love all my crap. Sick. But I like everybody else's crap too. Look at this one. I like it. I don't know why, but I got to get that Papa... Um, turquoise you know once in a while with those vintage things because I was thinking like you know all my stuff I'll show you because my next journals are going to be you know 1800 stuff so I'm thinking I'm going to use you know all my die cuts and all my all this stuff you know on these with books like this so if I use all this colorful stuff I want this kind of plain next to it so if I use this for a pocket say I can put this on and it's perfect. There's nothing, you know, there's no competition. So I love this. So I have to put in a few turquoise. So I did, that's actually wedding dress satin. So that's fun. And then, ah, then I opened my shop again. So I'm really excited. Because I'm starting to stock it, you know, every day in December I'm adding something new every day. So I'm all excited about that. I haven't added anything yet today. I'm trying to decide what to do. I'm thinking maybe, well, I did a napkin swap and now I'm overrun. So I could probably just do napkin packs, but like. Not good ones. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, just cheap ones because they're not, like, I don't know. I won't use them. I don't use Halloween and Christmas and all that. You know what I mean? I want the flowers and the birds and, the, you know, I have a specific style. So, a lot of them I don't use. So, all the extras that I get that I don't want, I was just thinking of putting them up for a couple bucks just so I don't have, so I can get rid of these dang napkins, you know. So it looks like a kindergartner did it. <laughs> well, watch my videos and follow along. You can do it. You just started. Oh, well, that's even funner then. New people are the best. They're the breath of the group, I'm telling you, because without you, it's no fun. I don't have anybody to tell anything to. <laughs> right? I love the new people. You got to come and post and, you know, figure it out because we love that. And then we have somebody to tell to tell our stuff to you know so I got plenty of videos you can follow right along and make this stuff it's easy see look just a piece of cardboard and I just inked it I went down the line zip zip and I just put look cheesecloth piece of paper a lace and a trim and I just zipped on my sewing machine with all my scraps that's all I did 
You can do it. I know what you mean, though. When I first started, it was terrible. You should see my videos. <laughs> my first junk journal was, um, I did, um, I was using hot glue. <laughs> I didn't know, you know. I thought I, I thought I came up with something on my own. I didn't know it was like a whole thing, you know. Until I started looking at videos. Because I couldn't figure out how to bind the book. And I was like, how do I do this? You know? I Because I figure out, obviously, page embellishments and stuff myself. But then I couldn't figure out how to bind the book together. And I was like, I looked up book binding or something like that. And I just happenstance on the junk journal thing. And then all of a sudden took over my whole dang life. But it was really fun. So these are cute anyways. You know. And they'll go really good on the side of a page or envelope or a text spot or whatever, you know. Some of them I don't even need wax. They look so good already without it. Some of these are long. And I just make up a whole stash, you know, of stuff. That's what I've been doing all week long. If you follow my channel, I have my sales. And then I take all the stuff in my sales and then I show you guys how to use it. So that's where we're at right now. I had a sales, couple sales. And now I'm showing you how to use all the papers and all the stuff that you get from me. And then we're going to put it in journals next. We're going to have a gab and glue. It's going to be so fun. Because I'm making up all this stuff ahead of time. All the tags, all the videos I'm doing, all the stuff. Because I got three journals sitting over here ready, waiting for me to, you know, get busy. So I'm making all this stuff. Ooh, I like this one. Making all this stuff so I can, you know. So I did sheet music. Look, a piece of material, a lace, and a trim. And I just zipped it on the sewing machine. See? That was easy. But you got to ink everything, see? At least I do because I like the grunge. So that's what takes so long is the inking takes forever. My sleeve got caught and flipped everything, of course. So I figured I would just do it instead of making you guys watch me ink everything. That gets boring, you know. But it is a reality of what we have to do with this stuff. It's a lot of the monotony, you know, the same things over and over again. But that's why we get such a thrill out of using different materials because... It's a lot of the same stuff, but so what I try to do is now that I've been doing this for a while, because when I first start, you know, it's like overwhelming. But now that I've been doing it for a while, quite a while, I realize now that I really want to make it look like like it was an accident, like everything was an accident, like all this stuff on here. You know what I mean? I'm trying to get it, throw it on there so it looks like an accident. Because <laughs> sometimes, you know, how you see those pictures of people, and I'm not even trying to ditch people, other people. I'm just saying, you know how sometimes you see those journal covers where obviously the book is square, and then they put the lace all the way around the four corners, you know, so it's a square, and then they put the trim on there that's a square, and like, you know what I mean? It looks intentionally square. You know what I'm saying? So I always like to... Oh, thanks, miss. I'm glad you come to visit me. So I always like to make it look like it's an accident rather than I'm laying it on here perfectly perfect and trying to make it all perfectly square. You know what I'm saying? So that's how I like to do mine. So they all look kind of messed up. <laughs> This one's got forget-me-nots and a little ticket. And so sometimes I get the minis out and do ephemera too. That's fun because the paper takes it really good, the wax. I like, I was going to show you the other kinds of wax, but I'm talking and I'm not doing it. I like this stuff. This is the stuff right here. Because it's... Hi, Vanessa! I am doing good. I've been thinking about you the last couple days. I've been going to message you. I'm going to message you. Because guess what happened to me? <laughs> as soon as it happened, I thought, oh, my God, I got a message, Kiki. <laughs> oh, my basement flooded. Listen, 
I've had this really bad bout of bad luck lately. I don't know what is happening. Um, my water conditioner hose, drain hose, got chewed by some mice. And they chewed the drain hose, so my water conditioner backed up, you know, which it wasn't too big of a disaster. Okay, this was the first thing that happened, okay? This is a weekend of events, let me tell you. And so I was like, oh, that stinks, you know, because it flooded the corner of the basement. And it was kind of a pain in the butt, you know, but whatever. I dealt with it, whatever. So I was like, okay. So I called the water conditioner guy, whatever. Okay, next. Um... I switched the bypass off to bypass the water conditioner, thinking it was just the water conditioner. And then um, I go to do a load of laundry and it backs up my entire septic system and blew out my sump pump and all the outlets down the line. <laughs> all in a 24 hour period. So no, no sooner did I get that little bit of water cleaned up than my whole basement flooded. <coughs> My sump pump burn out, so I had to get a new sump pump, put the new sump pump in, you know, all this major stuff. Oh my God. I was like, oh my God, Kiki, I got to tell her. Because <laughs> that just happened, I know, to you when you came home. Oh, from your beautiful trip. I haven't even heard about it or anything, and I haven't talked to you and haven't seen you. I know you're doing your classes and stuff online. She's got free classes going on now, I think. Oh, miss, I just missed you. <laughs> I know. So, anyways, so I've been going through it lately, but I had to come on today because I got new flannel pajamas. <laughs> new long sleeve flannel pajamas. It's cold in Minnesota, and I'm getting my first taste of, and this is mild winter here, but I'm having fun with it. So, I got new jammies, and I'm trying to, like, I got this new winter coat and, like, fur and stuff. Trying to, like, <laughs> embrace the Minnesota winter. Oh, so I'm trying to sport it. But it's kind of fun. So I just um, came on just to wax up some of my usual things that I make. But so I can gab to you guys for a little bit. I know. I, I just did cardboard. And then I just inked them up. And then I just put... Just through my sewing machine real quick. I just inked it up, you know, and the book page. And then I stuck a material trim and lace. Material trim lace book page. Material trim lace book page. And I just did a whole bunch. Because I need these. I'm doing, um, you know, journals next. Some I did just little ephemera pieces. But mostly I did material because I'm addicted to it. <laughs> and this book that I'm doing, I'll show you. I'm going to, I just, I need material. This one right here, because it's, look at her, and it's made from a vintage tablecloth and stuff, you know? And, like, it's going to be, like, I don't know. This is, like, a farmhouse tablecloth, you know what I'm saying? So, I want to get a lot of material in here and stuff. So, I'm really excited. <laughs> yes, I always do videos of my books. I know. Vanessa, you got to come. Where are you? I forget now. We'll have to make plans one of these days. I'm not going anywhere this winter. and But once I get my house set up, then you can come and see my cute little cottage. I want to come and see your house, though. You got the cutest pictures. I want to sit and have tea in your little table. <laughs> I know. It's going to be so fun. We have to. Next year, I need some, I need this winter, seriously, to come here and just, like, rest. I had two rounds of COVID, Wisconsin in the spring. Yes, okay, that's not even far. That is going to be so fun. I'm going to drive, maybe, even, or we could meet in the middle somewhere or something. I don't know, because going to your house wouldn't be thrilling for you. <laughs> But for me, it would. Oh, it would be so fun. We have to wear hats and dresses. <laughs> yes. Girl, we need to. Yes, we need to have a girl's night out or overnight somewhere or something. I'm telling you. We got to do it. <clears throat> this is so cute. 
can't stand it. And then I got my little fabric out with the roses on it. So I just use my scraps, you guys. Just sit at your machine and just do scraps on cardboard. It's nothing. See, look. So cute. All right, so what I do now is you got to come to group and post your... I know, you have so much. I would just die. A guest room and three studios. Nice. And I'm invited. I feel so special. <laughs> I just want to sit in your garden with you and paint and be fairies. <laughs> That's going to be fun. We're so going to do it. We got to hang out. For real. Then you can come here and see my cute little cottage too next. <laughs> oh my gosh. It's going to be so fun. I got a brand new car I can drive. I've barely driven it. I drove it across the states, you know, from Washington to here. And then since I've been here, I haven't left my house. <laughs> oh my gosh. So I'll have to take it on a trip again anyways. <laughs> I got a rogue. It was fun. Mm -hmm. These are so cute. All right. So... What I do now is I get done with these and then I put them under my lights and I take some pictures and stuff. And then I go to group and post them in group to inspire you guys to make some and then post it so I can see for funsies. Right? And then we can hang out like that, you know? To me, it's fun when I do videos and then you guys go make what I made, you know? It's part of my cheap thrills I get out of it. All right, let me turn my light on now. It's part of my cheap thrills. I know, we do need to celebrate every day. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to lift this up to the camera so you can see, like, kind of closer. I know I already have been, but kind of fun. So I just wanted to come in and say hi, you guys. Nothing new going on here, but... But every day I'm putting something new in my shop. I haven't decided what I'm going to do today yet. And I have to do a video and stuff so I can get with it here. Because I've been off for like a year. I've missed you guys because I've been moving. So I'm back. There goes the neighborhood. <laughs> See you soon. Bye.